evening, everybody, and welcome on this beautiful night, because this life is beautiful, is it? Don't worry, I'm not going to do Credo from the movie, so no problem there. Welcome to everyone in this beautiful space. Wow. Could we give it up for Randy McCullough? who is the principal here, uh, Chris Barbie, he's the chorus teacher, Sam Brown, who runs the piano studio, and Bill Rich, who's the technical director here, uh, for all their help and welcoming us. And especially Dr. David Lewis, the superintendent of schools, for having the vision and the stick-to-itness to make this fabulous facility possible. Thank you. Chairman of the Board of the Voices of the Valley, this choir just goes from glory to glory. So it wasn't that long ago we had one car, now we have two cars. They've done all kinds of community performances. And since we were together at our Christmas concert, they gave a fabulous, beautiful performance at the Georgia Music Educators Association in Athens. It was absolutely stunning. So proud of them. These young folks may come to Voices for different reasons. They love music. They have some musical facility. And true, they learn a lot about singing and music in general. But once they are here, it's the life lessons that they learn. How to work together. Choir versus solo, right? The value of hard work. The attention to, deta to detail. Nuance counts. And it helps them learn to be appreciators of beauty and have attention to detail. Now, the voices also serves as a lab choir, training choir, if you will, uh, for the choral music education students of Dr. Foltz at Columbus State University. This is an invaluable learning experience. Helps them to get a better J-O-B. Uh, and I want to recognize Dr. Scott Harris, who's right here. Scott, would you rise? Uh, he is the director of the Schwab School of Music. <laughs> and we appreciate their collaboration and partnership. And you know, we rehearse there every Monday night. Now, one of these students is Olivia McWaters. She's a senior. She's been involved with Voices since she came to CSU as a freshman from LaGrange. She is now the senior student assistant, and tonight she's going to conduct the choir in her own piece, which is absolutely fabulous. Last night, oh no, yes, give Olivia a hand. After their dress rehearsal, they had their mm, after dress rehearsal event, and they gave out all the paper plate awards, and the most prestigious of which is the director's choice, and this year it went to Sophia Rodriguez. <laughs> we are so thankful for the strong relationships that we have with local schools. Music teachers, we could not do it without you. Board of Directors, we could not do it without you. And parents, we could not do it without you. So thank you very much. Now let me just finish with telling you what we're looking forward to next season. Uh, we're considering adding a third choir, a training choir. It's sort of, so it would be one, two, three. Uh, or music education uh, for everybody. The choir is going to sing Carmina Borrata with the Columbus Symphony Orchestra in the spring. It's a huge work. There's a stage full of singers, orchestra. I mean, it's a really big deal. Now, let me see. Is George Giacomo here, the director of the symphony? No, good. So really, we would, <laughs> we would call this a Voices of the Valley concert, accompanied on a stage of 100 musicians and a hundred singers made up of four or five war choirs. 
Don't you think that's the way to say that? I do. Uh, if you have a child or know a child who's interested in being part of Voices, we have uh, auditions on May the 4th. So enough from me. Thank you for coming. And now, Voices of the Valley and Life is Beautiful.
Number 20. Thank you. And not just on Thanksgiving, every day. Number 19. Excuse me. Number 18. Here's a surprise corn dog that I brought you. Remember you want corn dogs? More happy people? That's a good idea. Corn dog for you, corn dog for you, corn dog for you.
when you make a room of people laugh that don't know you, don't know your background, it is just exhilarating. It, it is, it fills you with life, and it is something that it's it's something you want to chase. It's a feeling you want to chase over and over again because once you you know, and it, and it can start out something simple, you know, telling a story to friends and family, making that group of people laugh, and you know, it it can start out that way, but then you know, you just want more and more people to to laugh and. Um, especially if they don't know you, it can it can just be incredible feeling, very validating. There's a lot of times where I say a prayer to myself actually uh, before I go on stage, and I I just uh, ask God to um, sort of uh, help me, uh, you know, with my gift of making people laugh. I feel like God has given me a gift, and um, I just want to share that gift with people. Getting a laugh out of someone is great because it's not necessarily something they chose to happen, you know. And knowing that is very validating, where you you affected them in a way that they didn't expect, you know. Because when you go up on stage, people, some people want you to be funny, some people are hoping you're funny, and some people are like, all right, who's this guy? You make everyone in the room laugh instantly. That is, it's just, you feel... A sensation of you know your body's tingling. It's you feel excellent. You know, so it, it's just very life affirming.
because of faith, we reach out horizontally to one another and love. Uh, faith informs our values about how we care for one another. It, it enables us to establish connection with each other. And almost every faith tradition has a basic teaching around doing unto others as you would have them do to you. And so faith uh, makes human life more beautiful because it, it inspires us to be people of caring and compassion and love and connection. And, um, and that we do that not, not just out of ourselves as individuals, but that we are beautifully and mystically connected to one another because there is this human connection with, with all people, all life. Um, people of faith understand that that comes to us as a gift from the Holy One, and so we reach out to one another in that horizontal kind of way. So then faith also has this wonderful vertical dimension that enables us to explore and imagine and wonder and be aware of something that is just bigger than us and beyond us. Um, faith helps us know that we are not alone in the universe, that um, there is a greater purpose for human life and for our being here. Um, and it is because of, because of faith and different faith traditions that we, we remember life has a purpose and life has meaning. And whatever your faith tradition, faith will remind us to care for one another and also to remember that it's not all about us. So much music reflects faith, I think because of both of those dimensions, that music draws us into that ethereal wonder, something beyond what the mind can really grasp, it gets to the heart, it gets to the emotions, it gets to mystery. I mean, then music also helps us connect with one another, whether we're singing together or enjoying music together, making music together, or, or watching and experiencing it, it, it binds us together. And so it's, it's no surprise that so much music comes from an experience of faith. So what you all are doing in Voices of the Valley um, has a faith dimension, whether it's, it's named that way or not. It's, it's um, taking you outside yourselves and bringing you closer to one another and then also connecting us with something holy beyond ourselves.